One of the things that we do here at the Olson Law Group is landlord-tenant law, and mostly we represent landlords who have issues with their tenants, and those issues usually are non-payment of rent. And so we have an attorney here. His name is Caleb Maggio, and he assists clients with landlord-tenant law. And just want listeners out there to know that if you are a landlord, you got rental properties, you're having issues with your tenants, well, at the Olson Law Group, we'd be pleased to assist them. Absolutely. Caleb is very knowledgeable about how to help you as a landlord, everything from making sure that your lease is the way that it should be to best protect you, all the way through non-payment of rent where he may have to help you and do an eviction. Yeah. You know, we've had a rental property for many, 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 many years, and we've had many tenants come and go. We've had good luck with all of them, except for one. Mm -hmm. And she turned out to be an alcoholic. And I'm so sorry for that for her. But it just means she did not have the wherewithal or good sense to understand that if you don't pay rent, you're going to get evicted. And we went all the way, you and I did all the way through with that eviction to where you get a writ of possession. Mm -hmm. And it gets posted on the door. It told her that she had 24 hours to move out. And this was after the legal process. Okay, a legal eviction. It takes a few weeks. And she did not comply with that. So the next day we came there and the sheriff was there and kept the peace while we literally put her stuff out on the curb. Mm-hmm. And she, she was like, didn't really have a full understanding. And she was, okay, she starts walking out. And the sheriff goes, well, you may want to take your purse and your wallet with you and probably want to put some shoes on too. So off she goes, and we put all her stuff out on the curb, and somewhere she walked somewhere and got managed to get a bike somewhere, and then we see her coming by on her bike and grabbing stuff off the curb and taking it somewhere. And I don't really know what came of her, but I know her. Uh, part of it we were dealing with her parents, and, of course, they were trying to help her as best they can. But uh, sometimes when you have children in those situations, there's just there's nothing you can do for them. 